let's see. Um, uh, no. Uh, what I was gonna say. The reason I titled this stream "Crank and Nineties" on my wife. You know, I had an interaction with a Vietnam War vet today. Oh yeah. Yeah. How'd that go? I mean, he wasn't a bad guy. He didn't do anything to me. He just threatened to beat the fuck out of his wife. So well, okay. If once I once I figure out how the fuck to, god fucking. Hello, Jason. Change this fucking layout shit. Um. Okay. What's the matter? Okay. Seems reasonable. Oh, you're watch you're going through the tutorial. Okay, yeah. I'm fucking yeah, security for my family in a community where innovation is celebrated, okay. One sec, let me load up my stream so I can open up my broadcast bar. Okay. Yeah, Jay Scale's a pretty cool guy. You'll you'll like him. You're pretty cool. You're a pretty cool dude, Jace. USSA has mysteriously sunk near the Aurora Archipelago, home of Skeltech. Unable to establish contact with Aurora, the CIA has launched Operation Greenstone. As the leader of a Spec Ops team of 32 ghosts, your objective is to restore communications. Yeah, so I think the trial only allows you to play through the tutorial. Yeah. yeah. Probably. But after you're done with the tutorial, I can invite you. And like I said, you are allowed to play this game until September. What? Come on. Why the fuck? Go to my channel and pop up on my fucking stream. Is it is it doing it now? Are you fucking finally doing it? Thank you, for fuck's sake. That took way too long. Also, I'm echoing really badly. Where the fuck am I? How's that? Ah! Um, no, no, no. So, so I basically I was working the counter today, and I had, I had two really interesting interactions. Uh, one was with the Vietnam War vet, and the way I, the way I realized he was a Vietnam War vet, war vet, war vet Dead was uh, yeah, I'm already kind of getting tired. Yeah, ignore my slandered speech. Uh, but basically, he comes in and he's wearing the fucking arm tattoo of his platoon. But he's like a big fat motherfucker. So if I hadn't seen the tattoo, I would have just assumed he was some fat slob. Uh, like he's not like obese, but he's like he chunky. But uh, he comes in and he he's getting cat litter, and as he's leaving, he goes, "I go, how is everything today, sir? Were you able to find everything?" He's like, "Yeah, but I I kind of want to beat the fuck out of my wife," and I'm like, mm. "Oh." And he's like, yeah, I came in for cat litter, and my wife got a fucking coupon for cat food, but she said we had enough already and told me I could not buy any. And now I just want to really beat the fuck out of her. And I was like, oh. So that that was a funny interaction. Uh, another interaction is, okay, j just to state this, my, my feelings on people with autism, I don't fucking care. They're normal human beings. My feelings on this specific douchebag with autism. He can fucking die. Because he's a fucking dick. Okay, so this guy who's autistic, that uh, he might also be gay. Yeah. J j just an FYI. He, uh, 
the only reason I know that is because he has a str- he's a he's an asshole to everybody except to guys he really likes. And they're all boys half his age cuz he's in like his 40s, but all the guys he likes are like in their early 20s. Hmm. It's a little creepy. Uh at first, I thought it was, like, innocent because the fir the first one I knew about, he was also autistic, so I thought it was like, ah, he's just trying to get along with another one of his kind. Uh, and then I found out about another guy that he's also like that with who is not autistic, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's just fucking gay. So he comes into the store, and he goes, I need Omega-3. And he comes up to me, and he's like, and I met this guy before. He used to come to my other store. And the reason I say I'm used to autistic kids is because my best worker at the other store was, of course, autistic. And he functioned completely fine. He was OCD about certain things. But other than that, you, like, you, you couldn't really tell he was autistic unless he got really passionate about talking about Spider-Man toys or just got OCD about specific things and the way he did money. Yeah. Like, like that was it. Like, he could function. And I'm talking, like, this dude was severely autistic, but he kept his shit together. Um, and, honestly, best worker I fucking had. Uh, so, this is the other guy who, who came into my store. He'd never been a dick to me before, so it was a bit shocking. I didn't know that he was explicitly an asshole to people. Uh, until today, where he comes into the store, and he's like, I need Omega-3. So he makes it out to be like, oh, he had an order of Omega-3. And I don't know what Omega-3 is off the top of my head because that's a fucking thing that can be in a lot of shit. So I'm just yeah. like, let me see if I got your order or printout sheet. So he goes in and he's like, hey, is Brock here? And I go, no, but Lisa is. I, did, I also didn't know he fucking hated my boss, who is the nicest woman ever. Uh... And that immediately set him off. And I went, let me go ask Lisa. So he goes up to the Omega 3s. Okay. And I didn't know that, so I went to go talk to Lisa to see if there was an order. Well, Lisa's like, well, let's go check on him. So we walk over and we see him standing next to the bags he wants. He, he refuses to lift them. And he is a big enough dude that he could have done all this himself and got a cart and gotten three, but he refused to do it. Already setting off major dickhead vibes. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Uh, so, I, I ignored him because I never had a bad problem. I thought he was just acting weird. No, it turns out he's just a dick to everybody else. So he goes, he goes, these are the Omega-3s I was talking about. It was chick feed. And I was like, well, that's not what you said when you came in. So I had no clue. I, but I didn't, I didn't say that to him. I just fucking let him keep ranting. I was like, I'm just going to fucking keep quiet. Because he's already starting to piss me off. So then he goes, I'm going to need a cart. So I go to walk in the back to grab one of the back carts. He's like, the carts are in front. And I just walk in the back and I'm just like, what the fuck? Because there's carts in the back that customers don't know about. So I went to grab one. He was calling me fucking names on the other side of the door. And I'm like, fuck this guy. So we start walking back and like he's being like snarky with me. He's like, man, you really need to learn this. I'm like, dude, I've only been here for fucking two weeks. Calm the fuck down. I'm like, I, I haven't been here that long. I don't have feed memorized yet. I'm like, dude, you got if you chose pigs, dogs, or maybe even like certain cattle, I'd know it. But I'm not an expert on chicken. I raise chickens, but they didn't have specific diets. So that shit, I'm kind of clueless on. Um, yeah. By the like, way, I don't I have don't chick know if feed. Fucking me yet, but I'm in the game. Yeah, I think you have to finish your tutorial, maybe, and then I should be able to invite you. Because, e, are you running through everything right now after Jay Skell? Uh, I'm at a... I'm supposed to investigate helicopter crash sites. Yeah, so you got to finish that, and I think the moment you finish that, it'll try to kick you out, and then I'll invite you back in. And you'll you'll play through mine, uh, sadly, uh, because you don't own the game. You can't access, like, your own separate missions, but you can play through all my missions with me. I'm not actually very far in. Yeah. He saw so, like, I can, fill, I can fill you in on spots you've missed. Like, there's, like, literally one plot chain that happened, and that was it. Okay. Um, but no, so, so this dude's being a dick, and we're walking to the front. I roll his stuff out, and he's like, are you going to remember next time? And I'm like, what? And he's like, are you going to remember the feed? And I said, well, I hope so. And he's like, well, uh, you should really do that. And I'm, I'm just like, what the fuck? And he's like, I'm one of your better customers. And I was like, oh, fucking kid. I'd be like, yeah, I beg uh, to differ. Yeah, I just, I just fucking ignored him, kept walking. I was like, fuck it, fuck it, shrug it off, shrug it off, just keep going. 
And and then he's like, he's like, so you're going to need to remember that. Like, he was being really fucking bossy. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, you don't have the balls to pick up a fucking 30-pound bag. Three 30-pound bags, put them on a cart yourself and pull them out. You request that someone else does it for you. You're already a lazy piece of shit. Being autistic isn't a fucking physical handicap. It's a slightly mental handicap, which honestly is overcomable. How do I know that? Because one of my favorite people in the fucking world overcomes his fucking autism on a fucking daily basis and functions better than people who aren't fucking autistic. See, one of the things that bothers me is people with very low spectrum autism will do shit that is really shitty and then blame it on their autism. On their autism. And this is this guy. This is this guy, by the way. Like, that guy like, I worked with. I understand that, like, low spectrum more. autism can fucking cause things. Like, it can make you a little bit. It can make you have some social problems or whatever. But these people are just, like, assholes. To other people yeah, for and, no reason, and, and then they go, "Oh, it's my, it's he's autistic," and and that and that's this guy because basically the the coworker I had, his name was Noah. He he was like hard autistic, but like, but he pulled that shit back. The only time you realized he was hard autistic is like when somebody pushed his limits and really pissed him off, and then that's when he lost control. Yeah, and I. Every time that happened, I was fucking about right behind him, like, yo, fucking leave Noah alone. Because he was never in the wrong when he was pushed to that extent. Yeah. Um, this guy is not only slightly autistic, like, he's slightly autistic to the point where it's like, yes, he, he can't function enough to live on his own. Which most of them can't. Because it's just how it is. Like, Noah's in the same boat. But... It's not that he can't live on his own. His parents just decided for him that he couldn't. Mm. Uh, so they're very handholdy about his autism, and he blames his autism on shit, and he just uses it to be an asshole. So much so that he has harassed every coworker I have in that store, and he is almost completely banned from that store if he does one more thing to piss people off. And then he has the fucking guts to say, oh, I'm one of your better customers. Your better customers. I came in, told my manager, I'm like, hey, Lisa, this guy was a real dick. And she's like, yeah, he's the worst human being you'll ever meet. And I went, I went, I never knew that. She's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I known him. And like, he used to come into our store. I never had a fucking problem with him. She's like, no, he generally just despises everyone here. He's reported all of us for shit. And like, we have the best customer service in town. Like, I was like, what, what the fuck did he report you for? But like, she's like little pet peeves. That's like stuff you wouldn't even notice. Or it, it was just like, he just doesn't like people. So he's like requests they get fired. He's legitimately gone up the corporate chain to get people fired. And like corporate is is like fuck this guy that's how pissed off he's pushed them you know yeah that's fucking stupid <clears throat> no that's yeah, like what no, is it, it uh it, it's it should have like i've seen people like what is it my one of my old co-workers sons had autism he had mid-grade autism so okay. he had he had some problems with picking up social cues. Okay. But like, there's he, like she could tell when he was having a, a like an internal episode thing of like whether it was his autism kicking in or whether he was just being a dick. Yeah. Yeah. And that should have like. You can't. It, pe people that always just go like, "Oh no, he's got autism. That's the problem. That's stupid." Yeah, and I, and like, I I don't agree with that. It's like, autism isn't a thing that puts you to that thing. It's literally we're such a fucking hand holding culture that like we give people with a slight disparament fucking ease of access and like yada yada yada. And you're like, that that's fucking stupid. That's really fucking dumb. Like, they're human beings. They're just, they have a little bit of a problem, but, like, that doesn't just give them an excuse to, yeah, that doesn't give them an excuse to fucking be a dick. You know? So, yeah, no, so he was just fucking being an awful fucking piece of shit to fucking everybody. And they were like, yeah, we fucking hate this guy. And I was like, I can fucking see it. 
So, uh, yeah, no, he's a fucking piece of fucking garbage, and I fucking hate him. And I, up until this point, I didn't even know he was that bad, you know? I was like, ah, oh, he just, you know, he's, he's autistic, but I thought he was a nice guy. No, he's only nice because fucking Noah works at the dollar store, and every time he came in, Noah was working. So apparently what they told me is he's only nice when he's around the, gu the boys he likes. Hmm. And now I get, like, really bad, like, oh, no, he's he's autistic and a pedophile. <laughs> Vibes from him. But, yeah, no, he's, he's a fucking piece of shit, and he pissed me the fuck off. I'm like, Lisa, I'm fucking mad. She's like, why? And I told her about him, and she's like, oh, yeah, he's literally the worst customer we have. The moment she saw him and me turn a corner to talk to her about a customer kind of being weird and me not knowing what the fuck he's trying to say, and we clear the corner and see this motherfucker, you could see the tone shift in her posture yeah she goes oh god not this guy and I was like oh I think it's only appropriate god. that I be a field medic dude do it it's the best class are you that class no I'm assault I'm your tank so I don't want to be a class that someone else is I always like being the different one I, I didn't pick the medic clearly because I thought you were going to be the medic when you got this game it's only appropriate that I pick the medic. I love playing the medic. I, I completely agree with you. Uh, so you've got a drone that heals people. Lit. You can heal and revive yourself. Lit. And no one else can do that. I am knocking these bitches out. I have like a rage mode, but it's not that great. I honestly should switch fucking classes to something else. But uh, I I haven't really experimented much with my rage mode. But no, so like that guy pulled that shit, and I was just like, what, whatever, fuck it. And like, I, I hate that I have to work tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So basically, I get true grit with my class, and it gets me recoil reduction, damage resistance, and kills heal and extend the duration of the uh, crazy mode. Okay. There are a total of six classes. There were originally four. I don't know if you have access to all six. You might only have access to the I only have four. four. Is it Thanks. Assault, Field Medic, Panther, and Sharpshooter? Hold on. Let me... Fucking, I'm going through tutorial slideshows right now. There's engineer and echelon, too. They cost more skill yeah, points. Yeah, those are though. the. Yeah, those are the two that uh, are, have been recently added. You can literally smoke bomb as Panther. Yee. Ooh, I got the water filter. I'm gonna drink pool water now. Because it filters. Oh, by the way, this game is fucking intense. Uh, those guys that fuck you up in that starting mission, they're constantly patrolling the zones and they've got fucking drones out looking for you. So they'll just randomly fucking like shut off your comms and your fucking echo map and just fucking hunt you down with drones. It is insane. Shit. Like basically the, the whole point of this game is you're in enemy territory and you're just fucking constantly hauling ass. Oh, by the way, uh, I, when I was calling you, I was going to be like, well, if it isn't the guy who's genetically gifted to already have the abilities of an explosive expert. Jesus. I was telling my coworker about you because I was saying fucked up shit. Like, we were saying fucked up shit, and I was like, man, my family were cotton farmers. Uh, 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 so I said, my family worked on a cotton farm. I was like, but they ran the farm. And his shift of tone changed. And I'm like, relax, it was 40 years ago. Relax. The darkest person to work there was my grandpa. Jesus. And like, there was just a, a sigh shit. of relief. 
He's like, what are you? And I go, well, I'm Cherokee, Blackfoot, Iroquois, Spanish, German, and Irish. And he's like, well, ain't that a fucking mix? I'm like, I call myself a Heinz 57. Heinz 57. Because I'm a mix of fucking everything. Yeah. yeah. So this game has the same system for, like, finding information and intel. Okay. It's uh, got a I lot. The it, like, the map thing. is all fuck ton bigger. It's a helicopter thing. Thingy. Okay, so after you finish that, you're going to head into a base to meet some people. And I think after that is where your trial is supposed to end, and then I can invite you. By the way, I'm definitely probably going to buy the fucking Bikini Bottom game. Yeah. Dude, we need to get the Avengers game and just fucking play the fuck out of it. I'd be down. It comes out, I want to say... Is it, is it, was it August or November? I couldn't remember. I think it comes out before Crash Bandicoot. Oh, by the way, those crazy motherfuckers have bases all around the map, and there's giant fucking robots patrolling shit all around the fucking map. Do what? Uh, the crazy dudes, they have bases all around the map. There's also giant fucking robots protecting towers all around the fucking map. Whoa. Yeah, like, there's a fuck ton of robots and shit. That's and a lot of fucking dudes. Ironically... Ironically, uh, the robot thing, Sean, so you know how there was uh, the Predator in the last game? Yeah. In this game, it's the Terminator. Oh my god. Gotta love it. I love that, though. The Predator mission was cool. Yeah, it was except hard, for after you fucking cool. killed him. I did it by myself. So did I. And then I had to carry fucking everybody else besides you. It was a scary mission. It was very good, but it was a scary mission. Pretty sure I had to carry Bryce, too. I'm taking your fucking bike, bitch! I stole a motorcycle. Eat my fucking pussy! So I'm trying to finish the Eagles down mission, I think, right? I believe so. <laughs> You'll eventually get to a place literally called, I think, like, the cave. And it's a fucking cave. <laughs> That's a big bitch. That's a huge bitch. Good thing I got a big ass sniper rifle. By the way, you can get your own knives and shit in this game that you can customize. They're pretty fucking cool. Uh, and uh, those will change how you do finishers. And you stay down there. You're a bitch. I don't like you. Who's a bitch? Fucking lady with a gun.
Oh, a lot of the characters are assholes. The cowboy is a f nice asshole, and literally the rich dude is like, a and the dad are the two only likable characters, and the dad's daughter. Everybody else are fucking dicks. Like, a lot of the fucking whole point of the game is that, like, you're hated by everybody because the guy, Walker, was one of your units, so nobody trusts you even though you're helping them. Yeah. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense. Also, if you remember, Walker's the guy we did the added-on missions for yeah. in uh, Breakpoint. And you are the same character you played as, in, I mean, in, in the previous game, in Wildlands. You're the same character. Jesus. Jesus. There, there. Enemy move. Come and get it, motherfuckers. Got enough grenades. Oh, and bazookas aren't a weapon you can get in this game. It's a craftable. <laughs> oh, shit. It's actually pretty fucking funny. That's fucking mortar. This whole game is that, hey, all your fucking enemies have fucking superiority. Like high-tech shit. Yeah, and you don't. You're fucking dead. Is that a police drone? It is. <laughs> They're trying to shoot me because I'm brown. It's an accurate police drone. Jesus Christ, what are you crunching over there? <laughs> so fucking loud. Yes! Aha, you dropped purple. My favorite lightsaber color. And my favorite crayon, I like to stick up my ass. Did you know we knew a guy that used to do that? What? Stick crayons up his butt. Not you, Ooh. but I'm just saying me and my brother. Why? Uh, he was gay. But he didn't know he was gay, but he thought stu stuff going up his butt made him feel good when he was 10. Which is how my mom figured out he was probably gay, and now he came out as gay not that long ago. And she's like, I could fucking see it. And I was like, I can too. I remember one time we shot him with a paintball gun, and he like purposely tried to get his asshole hit. Ah, fucker! <laughs> Alright, try and bite me now. Alrighty, one second. Let me just... I think I have to clear the area, so if you'll give me one second. It has you guys around a table for me. Yeah, it does. That's how you know your friends are on. Fuck. J is on. By the way, even if it shows your friends in the game, the likelihood is is that they're just playing another game and online. Well, DJ isn't online, like at all. I'm pretty sure he's listed as offline constantly, though. As his natural state. Since he was last on eight hours ago. You fucking. By the way, every fucking mortar is alive. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're just robots. All the mortars are, are self-activated robots. So you can't just shoot a guy off them. You have to kill the mortar. I think I Where in the fuck? I'm trying to find the last guy so I can clear out the fucking zone. 
and invite you. Do what? I'm trying to find the last guy alive so I can clear out the zone and invite you. I hear him. I know his general vicinity. Are you still up top, you dumb bitch? Got him. All right, I'll invite you. All right. There. <laughs> you have joined my session. Connecting. I think it gives you a symbol letting them know. It, 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 I think you have a symbol that lets me know that you don't own this game. Oh shit. It's a little red bar at the bottom left of your connecting. I need somebody's body. Where's a body? I need into the armory and I need to use one of your eyeballs. There you go. Yeah, um, you can lose around here. You are now linked to Heaven's Holy Wars here. friend pass. What is that? Yep. Make your way to me. You can also fast travel on your friends, so remember that. That's pretty cool. I hope you work. I don't want to have to carry somebody else's corpse to the fucking armory. By the way, as a medic, uh, you carry bodies faster. So, a yeah. medic also is a better stealth class. Hell yeah. I like stealth. I shot him through the fucking spine. <laughs> I'm looking Jesus. at the impact shot of uh, the impact mark on his fucking back, and there's just a bullet hole right below his neck in his spinal column. Wait a second, hold on. Oh shit, we can do my missions. We can? It's still giving me markers for my missions. Are they your missions, or are they my missions in my world? Eagle down and Samuel, yeah. I'm still getting my markers uh, up in sinking country uh, called One Man's Hell, Locate Samuel. And then I've got a mission, Eagles Down, Talk to the Wounded Soldier in the Erewhon's Infirmary. Oh. Cool. So we can still do your missions. Oh, well, there you fucking go. Look at that shit. And here I was thinking it was gonna try to fuck you out of anything. Hey, Sean. Yo, yo. You should come in here. I found Ching. I'm looking, um, I'm inside a building. A very cool, what is this? Hello? Very cool. Sean, I'm <coughs> Ching Chong. By the way, the armory's open, so if you want to just grab a bunch of shit. Uh, keep, keep on the lookout. There's a monitor in there. Careful. Hello, ma'am. They're pretty sneaky, those Ching Chang Chongs. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy the SpongeBob game and just fucking revel in all the stupidity. I wonder if they finally got Mr. Krabs' voice actor for it, because they didn't have it for the original version. <laughs> it was more like hardy he har. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was something else. It hardy was, uh, hardy it was not fucking <laughs> it was not fucking Mr. Krabs, I'll tell you that.
Up on my shoulders, you big bitch. Hmm, I got another pistol. It's better than the one I got. Well, fuck me. Is that an armory over there? Yeah, there's an armory, not the one I'm in, but the one next to it. Okay, I don't know all the stuff for this game yet, so bear with me. Armory basically has all the rare consumables and craftables. And to open them... So you'll see, like, the explosive markers uh, on them. Like, the little, like, explosion dash or whatever that's basically showing you explosive craftables. Um, but to get into some of them, you have to hold a body on top of you while you walk to the door. Ah, uh, okay. But I should have already opened it, so it should be unlocked. Oh, is that sniper rifle better? I'll be fucking damned. Ah, he is a Ching Chang Chong. Hello? <laughs> you saw it too. I was I was hoping you wouldn't forget and you go in and be like, oh, the sneaky Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love them though. I thought it was funny. You gotta love them too. Oh god, the women are fucking gorgeous and their food's fucking great. I just pick up a though. banana? Probably. I didn't know I could do that. Oh yeah, if you turn on your survival modes, I'm pretty sure you can get a hunger and a thirst bar. I took uh, your... how do I do? Uh, you press pause and you go to settings. It's in settings? Okay. Yeah, all of it's in settings. Uh, and it's very easy. Uh, settings. settings. Health regeneration done. <sighs> yeah, Flash is. Well, he was sleeping before you woke him up. Where is it? Where the fuck is it at? I can't find it in settings. Oh, one sec, I'll help you out. <sighs> oh, my fucking. Ow, that fucking hurt. Sorry, I'm editing my guns, if you will give me a little bit. You're good, I'm just looking through shit. Maybe I have it on already? I doubt it. I've got my tactical difficulty set to elite. I don't think it. I think it's separate from tactical difficulty though. That's why. Okay, one sec. Night, love you. If you'll close my door for me. Or I guess fucking not. Ghost experience parameters underneath settings. Tactical. Bandage, risk of energy, health regeneration, none. Okay, so you've got your difficulty, which fucks with regeneration. You've got your bandage. Uh, maybe, maybe it's be if you put it on veteran, the only way to heal is by using consumables. Can I get more than one weapon slot? No, you can limit your weapon slots. What the fuck? Hmm. So I guess it's basically... <laughs> I guess you don't have a starvation meter. I could have sworn you did. Maybe I was just assuming. Uh, you can also kind of just set your difficulty to elite. Yeah, that's what I did. Is I set mine to elite. 
risk of injury always, stamina consumption extreme, health regeneration none, meaning you're going to have to use your water and your meds. Okay. So that's probably why. I don't think I even have a canteen, have a canteen yet. You should just have one. Mm-mm. Almost, I'm almost certain. Oh, uh, once I fucking do this wounded survivor thing, it says I get a drone, a can water canteen, and binoculars. I'm trying to figure out how to access my canteen. Alright, well, we'll take you back to tech one after I'm done looting this place. Makes you want to re-download fucking Destiny. Play through it. <laughs> the problem is, is Destiny's fucking dead. Destiny 2 is pretty fucked right now, too. Well, I see it's in your consumables, but I'm trying to figure out how to access my consumables. You can hold oh, RB. That's... That's not... If you hold RB, it opens up a spin wheel. Med kit, frag grenade, Did syringe, you? bandage, fitness ba fitness ration basic. I can't equip my water canteen, though. And or use it. I've got all the shit. It should allow me to have it. I think. Maybe, maybe I replace my fucking syringe. Yeah, that's what it is. It wants me to replace my medical syringe. Alrighty. Oh, let me. I'm, I think I'm almost done with this base. What's left? The scale credits, which are right over here. This is where I can, like, load in and customize my guy. Like, clothes and stuff. In your pause menu? You can just do it from there. There's, like, a place. You press pause, and then you go to... Customize. And then there's appearance, there's gear, accessories, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Can't you see I'm busy? Uh, you're, you're, uh, uh. you're in my personal space. So, Sean, uh, if you look at my right leg, when you're done with that, yeah. you'll see it's bandaged. So, I have my damage uh, for risk of injury on rare, which yeah. means explosives and massive amounts of damage and high falls and stuff like that are the only way I could get injured. If you yeah. have it on the highest... I believe almost every other time you lose a health bar, you get an injury which severely fucks you. I can teleport to the area you need to go to to continue your shit. Alright. If I can figure out where the fuck it's at. I haven't gotten used to the map yet, so I apologize. Wait, did you just mark it? Yeah. Mark it again. It's marked. Well, that's how I fast travel. Ah, Air One. There it 
is. So there's also a raid island, so when you beat the game, you unlock a continuation. There's also a continuation for the second season with yeah. uh, basically the Ghost Recon crossover is an entire fucking game. So there's the main game, which is season one, and then there's season two, which is the Ghost Recon shit. We work with Sam Fisher and the CIA. Ooh. I think you get access to the first mission, and that's about it. Okay. You have to buy the season pass to get it all. Closing my door, doggos. Shiva, come here. Shiva, come here. Flash, you're so fluffy. I love you. You big eared, big pod bitch. There's a dude over here. I'm just kind of fucking exploring, getting used to this game. Yeah, there's a lot of people you'll interact with in the uh, main area. The first chapter, we have to rescue Jace Skell. After talking to a couple people and performing another rescue, I believe. By the way, my uh, sigil for my character is the Assassin's Creed Odyssey sigil. Oh shit. You can get one for Far Cry 5 too, and uh... I don't remember what else. I think there's another one. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Hey, just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? So this is one of your squad members from the previous game. Also, I'm yeah. echoing. Yeah, no. Fucking. Well, the comms blackout. I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. 
think he just gave you the drone. You know, search for Angela, keep exploring the prominence of, in, of Aurora. See, I wonder, since I gave you my friend pass or whatever, is that like a permanent thing? Can you just play this game without me? Or can you only play it with me? I have no idea. Schultzy boy. Did you hear? Ballard has a cure. At this point, I won't believe anything until I see it with my own eyes. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? Used to be Skeltec's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. Are you still walking around the base, or did you go talk to the big guy? Uh, I talked to the dude, the dude in the infirmary. You got big plans? Uh, you know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running. Ooh, I kind of like that. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. Well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case. Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and skaters, <laughs> both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Trying to see what are you doing, Sean? I am resting at the biovac. I'm looking at all the stuff. Oh yeah, activate. You can activate an experience boost. I activated a uh, stamina boost. I'm looking through the all this stuff. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. C4 charges. Ooh. Ooh.
Are you going through the crafting menu right now? I'm going through like the gear stuff right now. Now that you've got this game, I can't wait till you get the division too. Yeah, me too. Host migration in progress. Yeah, I don't know why, but it just kicked me. Uh, I, 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 can I invite you back? I think I have to be the host. Oh. I can check. I think it's letting me join you. Oh no. If I pass. Whatever. I wonder if it the friend pass works like I said earlier, where now that you've joined with me you just have it. Because I feel like if you didn't, it would have kicked you. Also, did you see the trailer for the new Ratchet and Clank game? Uh-uh. It, it just, like, introduces a female Lombax and then, like, wipes Ratchet out of existence in the trailer. Oh, Jesus. Also, The Last of Us 2 has been getting a lot of fucking hate. Do what? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Your mic fucked up. So, what was it? The Last of Us 2 has been getting a lot of fucking hate. Why? For both the beginning and the ending to the game. <laughs> Apparently fans are pretty pissed about both. Not just one. Well, damn. The fan base is completely divided based off of just the ending and the beginning, and they are looped together. Well, shit. You good? I need to make your shit match. Yeah, I'm looking at your fucking character changing clothes, and he looks retarded. It's not, it's taking forever to load, like, different things. Also, do you have tattoos of twigs on one arm, and then the fucking goddess of death on the other? Yeah. I oh got it takes so day, it's so fucking long.
I change the color? Yes, you can change the color of all gear pieces and weapons. Look at it. By pressing X. By the way, um, if at ever any point your skin override fucks up, just go back to your loadout and press right on the D-pad. Okay. okay. So you don't have to go and customize everything to look a specific way ever again. It'll save what you have. Okay. Yeah, my next paycheck's gonna be like fucking eight hundred bucks, give or take, maybe seven, eight hundred. Oh, so I'm probably gonna get the new SpongeBob game and maybe pre-order fucking the Avengers. Hell yeah! And Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. <sighs> Let's see. I recently picked went back through and beat all the Spyros, and then I beat Crash 1. I don't think I beat Crash 2. I've beaten it before, and I think I still need to beat the third. I'm not 100%ing those games. Fuck that. That's fair. The trailer is fucking hilarious. PlayStation pissed me off again. So for the trailer for Crash Bandicoot, PlayStation put their fucking logo on it. And excluded yeah. Xbox from it, so Xbox did the same thing. Oh my god. I think it's funny that PlayStation's been doing that for fucking years, and Xbox is like, no, fuck you. If you're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Why didn't it? Why didn't it? Hold on. Okay, but I customized that, so how do I get it to be that? I'm gonna end my stream and restart it. Okay.